Oh man, the talk, the talk, the talk tonight. I've been meaning to do this since I saw it like three or four days ago about uh, uh, Stevie J and and uh, Faith Evans. Boy, my girlfriend came home and she said, uh, "You know, Faith Evans just married Stevie J." And I'm like, "You." The first thing I said was, "You lying," because there's no way in my mind. That was anything possible that Stevie J and Faith Evans were gonna get married, like at all. So I'm like, Stevie J and Faith Evans, like, how did that even come together? So I mean, I had my girlfriend do a little research for me because I'm busy doing all this other stuff. So I'm like, so we started getting into the magazines and we started like figuring out some history between the two of them. And I'm just I'm still lost, still lost. All I got from this history was that, you know, Faith Evans and Stevie J have known each other for a long time. They've been friends for a long time. She's been the God's son. Um, the, he's been the God uh, father to her son. Um, and the son seems to be completely upset with that. The, the fact that Stevie J was his godfather and now is his stepdad. Um, and that, you know, they work together on the I'll Be Missing You song. Um, Stevie J produced that album with Diddy. Um, so that's how they work together. That's how they in initially met up. And they've been friends. And that was around 1997. And they've been friends since then. But um, other than that, other than, you know, a long-lasting friendship, which, you know, we saw Kim Kardashian and Kanye West go through um, a long friendship and, you know, that became a marriage and they seem to be doing, I mean, you know, all right, other than Kanye West being crazy. Um, but Faith Evans and Stevie J, OMG, like where in the world, all, as soon as I heard it, it sounded literally like she said, Whitney and Bobby, like that completely in my mind said Whitney and Bobby to me, Faith Evans and Stevie J. Okay. So Stevie J is like, if you don't know who Stevie J is, I mean, I'm sure all of Facebook knows who Stevie J is. I mean, he's like the king of a bad meme and stuff like, you know, and he's a king of all these types of stunts and things that he likes to pull every time, you know, something's going on. Um, but he's definitely the king of dragging black women through the dirt. Like he, I don't know how he gets away with this buffoonery. I really don't understand how he gets away with it. Like, so, um, you know, he was with Mimi Faust, um, and Mimi's like entrepreneur, Scientologist, turned lesbian, turned business owner. You know, she got a lot of shit going on. So that's, you know, Mimi. That's his first baby mama. Okay, cool. Then he was like dogging Mimi out on Love and Hip Hop um, with Jocelyn. Okay, so we had Jocelyn Hernandez, all that stuff. So, okay, we're dogging out Mimi with Jocelyn Hernandez. Okay, cool, fine, dog out Mimi. So then, um, I guess the Jocelyn thing didn't work out for him. Uh, you know, Jocelyn was a, is a firecracker, since she seems like a lot for any person to handle. And then it turned into like all of a sudden out the blue. I mean, we did know because Faith has been on Love and Hip Hop, and um, we saw this a couple times. Hey, Kiki. So we saw this a couple of times, but we saw Faith on Love and Hip Hop, and I thought, okay, well, cool, that's fine. Like, you know, they're friends and all that other stuff, and there was a little animosity. But I'm not a big Love and Hip Hop fan, so I didn't watch it to, like, understand what was going on. But this is, like, the synopsis of what I'm got getting from, like, the, the little bit that I've watched. And I'm just trying to figure out how, how Faith or how Faith ended up with stevie j like as in mary and then it was such a ratchet proposal like she's in las vegas he texts we should get married okay we are all too old for text message proposals like it's nothing cute about it it don't matter how busy you are if you really love somebody you're going to take the time you're going to take the time so that's strike number one for me because i don't think he really loves her these are my reasons why i don't think he really loves her because he wouldn't propose to her via text message. Reason number two, after this comes out that they're married, uh, his ex, Jocelyn Hernandez, puts out like a Twitter post and all this other stuff. And she says that um, 
And Stevie had just asked her the same day when she shows the messages where he had asked her the same day, would she marry him? She said no. He gets an attitude. They start fighting because that's what Jocelyn and Stevie J do. They fight all the time. So my thoughts are, okay, so because Jocelyn said no, the next thing you did was send on another text message to Faith Evans and ask, would she marry you? And then she went with it. And if she hadn't went with it, I'm sure Mimi would have got a text third. And like, oh, okay, well, will you marry me? Like, you know, he just searching for a wife on that given night. You know, he probably running from something, knowing Stevie J. He probably got a court case coming, something pending, something else coming, you know, because he just pled guilty to um, child support charges. So he probably is running from something and need a wife. He's like emotionally unstable, like, and thinks it's cool, like he thinks it's cool to like dog out women and like look stupid. Like who makes their wife or their girl look stupid on television? I mean, I know I live in Atlanta, so I know that people do this every day, like, which is crazy to me. But um, and it's crazy, even crazier to me that these people are grown as hell, making their uh, spouses look stupid on television. But um, so you know. I'm just, I hate it. Overall, I mean, like that thing gets two thumbs down for me because Faith just seems like such a wonderful like person and not to take away from the fact that she's a legend. She's a legend. She's always going to be a legend. So um, now we got this music mogul. We can't take it away from him. He is a really good producer. He's a music and he's a music icon as well But he, as a producer, but she's She's way better than that. Like, you know, Faith Evans is Biggie Smalls' uh, ex-wife. Uh, she was married to him up until he died in 1997. Um, she was married and then divorced in 2011. And now she's married again to Stevie J. And I think it just looks sad. I, I mean, I'm just really looking for one white woman to pick up Stevie J and get him, get him away from all the black women in my community. Like... Stevie J, the white girls can have you because at this point, like you, the way that he is dogging out black women on the regular, like and tearing them down. And yeah, they're showing that they're strong and they can come back from it. But at the end of the day, like Faith Evans, why get into it? Like you see this. I also had the privilege of actually knowing Stevie J's first wife. Um, well, no, no, no. Um, so I'm just kind of like, I'm just kind of lost on the whole Stevie J and Faith Evans thing. I, you know, I hope the only reason that I hope that it works is because it would be sad to watch a legend like Faith Evans go downhill because of, you know, towards the end, toward, you know, she's getting older and stuff towards the end of like a, a really good career, um, a solid career as, and be, at being a solid person to watch her go down in the tabloids as one of Stevie J's like, exes and that's what's happening right now like stevie j is already getting her caught up in some mess so i mean i don't know if love wins as she said in her tweet i mean you know we all fall in love with some dummies but you know that's what you leave to young people love young people fall in love with dumb people like that's what we're supposed to do like we make mistakes like that but at this point season legends on top of that should not be making this type of mistake like even for even if stevie j was a perfect dude right now the fact is the whole world knows him as sleazy so regardless of and it's not like a little bit of the community it's a whole big community that think that he's a sleazeball and so now regardless of whatever's going on your husband is known as a sleep. Like, and why would you do that to your own reputation? I mean, maybe you want to get married. I get it, Faith. Maybe, you know, marriage is what everybody is looking for these days, it seems. But, like, to me, that's, like, borderline desperate with Stevie J because this is a mess. Like, I don't know. I've, I've been trying to come up with reasons to be positive about it because I'm a positive person. Thanks, Tasia. But I don't, I don't really... um. I can't possibly understand. I can't find one good reason other than love winning, but I have a hard time believing that this is love because regardless of anything, he's disrespectful. He's he's wild. Like she's already seen already like that he's messy and all he can do is tarnish 
her legendary status and she'll be another Whitney and Bobby like it'll be another Whitney and Bobby like how we seen Whitney be you know she was a queen like even more legend than uh Faith but we saw Bobby take all of that away from her you know that relationship with Bobby not saying that Bobby did it all but the but just tying herself with somebody that was not good for her destroyed her and end up really we all know costing her her life and of course we don't want that end for faith evans hopefully she's smart enough to get out when when she sees stevie j for what he really is which i think is manipulative he's a coward he like sits around and preys on women all day and just to make himself feel better he's like a man he's like a i mean i wouldn't be surprised if he was gay to be honest because he's like He's too slimy to like, he's too manip. He's too old to be that slimy too. Like that slimy in public while saying I'm a mogul and I'm a, I'm a producer and I do this and I do that. And you know, you, he don't have no business about himself. He's like his only business is trying to be a pimp. And now we got to associate Faith Evans with pimp. And I, I mean, you know, it was one thing 20 years ago with her and Biggie. All right. Biggie, her and Lil' Kim. But like now, what we're saying to 20 years later, we don't get smarter. Like we don't, we don't, we don't say, oh no, I see that guy and I'm going in the opposite direction. Um, even if I love him, like, you know, love him like you've been loving him as a friend, but not as a husband because geez Louise. I mean, we can see, we can all see this from a mile away going ending badly for everybody, but Stevie J like, this will end badly for everybody but Stevie J. It'll be good for Faith Evans. I mean, it'll be bad for Faith, horrible for Faith Evans. Stevie J will walk away from it being like, you know, talking on his sleazy shit. And Faith Evans will end up being hurt. She'll end up having her name tarnished. She'll end up like the, the part of her even being in legendary status is already in question just because she married Stevie J. Like, it's been so long since she's put out really good music. So she's been a legend because of her time with Biggie, Little Kim, Bad Boy, all that stuff. And because she is actually, she can actually still sing. So she's continued to be a legend because of that. But regardless, like you tie Faith Evans to Stevie J and now you get love and hip hop ho. And too, too old, too classy. I mean, only other reason I could think she did it was for the money. But don't he owe a million dollars in child support? Okay, so this is all I'm thinking. You know, I live in Atlanta, right? So all I'm thinking, if it's that hard to find a good man, like a like a woman like, you know, Faith Evans, she can't walk in a building and say, I'm Faith Evans, and a good nigga don't scoop her up. It says a lot about men, and it says a lot about the men in Atlanta. It says a lot about the you know people in general but at the end of the day that says a lot about men um that are left in atlanta so you know if faith evans can't find a good man and she she left with stevie J, then i don't know what's the hope for the rest of you she's always but yeah give me your thoughts on that i i don't get it i'm the this was the things that make you go huh that was it Stevie J and Faith Evans. I know there's going to be a to be continued part two to this because I'm sure. Give Stevie J 30 days to fuck this up. I give him 30 days. If if Stevie J don't fuck this up within 30 days, I'm just, there is no bet on that. He's going to do something. It's going to be in the tabloids. He's going to do something. And um, somebody, everybody need to be praying for Faith that she gets through this and, you know, with as less tarnish to her name as possible. All right, luckylefty.com. Check me out um, on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, lucky, L-U-C-K-I-I, lefty, L-E-F-T-Y.com.